Hello, today I am going to discuss about the air flow rate measurement which is derived from differential pressure. In this picture, it shows the differential pressure transmitter installed in the field. They measure the differential pressure value across or between the high side and the low side. The high side refer to the upstream of the piping, whereas the low side refer to the downstream of the piping. Sometimes people call the upstream pressure or the high side pressure as static pressure. And you can see the air is flown from the upstream to the downstream via the orifice. Orifice is basically a small fixed hole, right, where it can create the differential pressure between the high side and the low side. So this differential pressure transmitter, once it measures the pre difference, dif pressure difference between high side and low side, it will generate the corresponding output signal, usually in terms of 4 to 20 milliampere. For those older type differential pressure transmitter that may not have the built-in square root character characterization or characterizer, inside the differential pressure transmitter to apply the square root to its output signal. So in this case, we need to install external square root characterizer or characterization as extractor like in this photo. This is the square root extractor. So the function of this square root extractor is to apply the square root to the differential pressure output signal so that the flow rate reading that you derive will be the correct reading okay let's say if if you do not have the uh, external square root extractor you may send the signal to the plc controller because most of the plc controller have the square root characterization function block it can automatically automatically calculate the corresponding flow rate correctly. Some of the modern smarter differential pressure transmitter available today may have the built-in square root characterization that can automatically convert the differential pressure to the corresponding flow rate. Alright, so now how do we derive the corresponding air flow rate from the differential pressure? Air flow rate is proportional to square root of differential pressure. This is the important formula we have to remember. Let's say if we block a graph or the curve where this x axis is differential pressure and the y axis is flow rate. So the curve we get is not the linear curve, instead, it's the disk curve. Why? Because Flow rate is not proportional to differential pressure. Flow rate is only linearly proportional to square root of differential pressure. Alright, so if we block another graph or curve, okay, where the x axis is square root of differential pressure in terms of maybe a Pascal unit, okay, it can be any pressure unit. In this case, I use the Pascal unit and the y-axis is uh, flow rate in terms of maybe cubic meter per hour. So the curve you get is linear. Why? Because flow rate is proportional to differential or oh, sorry, square root of differential pressure. So in order to find the corresponding flow rate, we have to know the maximum and minimum value of square root differential pressure as well as flow rate, right? So for example, okay, this is a square root of differential pressure N. And then this is a square root differential pressure X. So N notation is minimum. X is maximum. Okay, so the corresponding Q or flow rate is QN. 
minimum flow rate. Then the corresponding QX is here. This is called this is called maximum flow rate or QX. So let's say given the square root of differential pressure one, what is the corresponding flow rate of Q1? There are a lot of methods to derive the Q1 or corresponding flow rate. What the method used by me is through the proportional method. Okay, so this maximum differential pressure, square root differential pressure minus this square root differential pressure minimum is proportional to this QX or maximum flow rate minus this QN or minimum flow rate. And then this square root differential pressure 1 minus this square root differential pressure N or minimum differential pressure is proportional to Q1 minus QN or minimum flow rate. Okay, so we can write in this this way. Right? Uh, square root of d p x minus square root of d p n proportional to q x minus q n. Then this square root of d p one minus square root of d p n is proportional to this divided by this multiplied by this okay so put the bracket square root of d p 1 minus square root of d p n divided by square root of d p x minus square root of d p n close bracket multiply by this q x minus q n close bracket close a square bracket and then as we know this is equal to q1 minus q n equal to q1 minus q n and we want to find this q1 right so maybe i use different color here maybe i use green color so we need to find q1 here so this qn should transfer to the other side so q1 is so this is the important formula you have to memorize so given differential pressure x mean maximum differential pressure is maybe maybe differential pressure n mean minimum differential pressure is 100 pascal for example and then dpx or maximum differential pressure is 500 pascal and the uh, qn minimum flow rate is maybe uh, 200 cmh this is just an example for only then QX maximum flow rate is 2500 cmh and given the Q sorry given the DP1 is maybe 200 Pascal so what is the value of Q1 so you can put in all this value into the formula and then you will get the Q1 value okay after calculation you may get about maybe a uh, 970 something if i'm not wrong or is 74 cmh okay i have an excel sheet that can help you to automatically calculate the corresponding air flow rate what you need to do is you just need to key in the values into the yellow boxes such as this one the differential pressure 
value for the LRV, low range value or minimum value and the URV, upper range value or the maximum value of differential pressure. This is a, any unit you can put Pascal or inches water column or millibar etc. This is a raw output that generated by the differential pressure transmitter. Okay, usually it's a 4 to 20 milliampere. Of course, you can put 1 to 5 volt up to you. And you can key in the range for the flow rate you are expected to, 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 to have. For example, in this case, it's a 200 to 2500 cmh. Of course, you can put in any unit that you want. Okay, you can put in maybe liter per minute if you want. It can change the value maybe from zero to maybe five thousand liter per minute, and the corresponding flow rate will automatically calculate for you. This is a characterization output, basically to say that this million output is being characterized. That means you apply the square root characterization to the raw million output, right? Let me know if you are interested to have this Excel sheet. Leave a comment below and I will send you this Excel sheet for you, for your own reference. Okay, that's it. Thank you.